Hi everyone, my name is Felix. If you are new to this channel, we usually present with my wife, but today I'm alone. And our today's topic is about technology, and we are going to check the things you should consider when buying a laptop. And when on this video, I want to focus mostly on a laptop that you can use for a business or for school work and laptop are becoming cheaper and most students nowadays are so dependent on using a laptop like now during this time of quarantine the most appropriate way you can access education is through online platform and when you have a laptop it is it is it, it become more convenient so let's get into it the factors you should consider when buying a laptop one is the screen size when you have a big when you have a, a big screen size you will not strain when viewing your items and you will not strain when viewing your item everything will appear big will not be a problem so and the most recommended screen size we can choose is the 15 inch i usually use a 15 inch laptop and i find it very big and i don't strain that much so the next item that you should check when buying a laptop is a microprocessor for those of us who don't know what is a microprocessor, microproce a microprocessor is the chip that the computer uses to process the data, whether it to process the data in it. Mostly, the data is presented in the form of digit, binary digit. A microprocessor is divided into four parts so that it can be able to handle data that it can be able to handle data more efficiently. So those parts are divided into four parts. Into four parts. And with these four parts, the data is be able to... These four, four parts are called cores. So that's where you hear a dual core, two core, three core, four core, and five core. I would recommend you buy a computer which has five core and also three are a bit slow but not very much but I would recommend you buy a computer with or a laptop with five cores. With five cores you the tasks are divided into five parts. So it is the computer is able to handle the computer is able to handle all the tasks like opening an application like a like a photoshop application or a word, word application it is able to it, it is able to open it very fast and the the other thing you should consider buying so that your laptop may be very fast is a laptop with a higher random access memory. This uh, technical terms, I, I don't think I will, I will define them. With, with this, maybe I give a general term. A random access memory is when you are opening like a, you are working, uh, I, don't, I will not define that. A laptop with a higher random random access memory AG that is RAM, it is able to handle much ta task very fast. Maybe when you are opening, maybe when you are working on a document, you are working on Word, but also you have opened like Photoshop. So like you want to copy a text in Microsoft Word and paste it in. Photoshop. A laptop with a higher random access memory when switching from Word and going to Photoshop 
it will open much faster because it has a higher random access memory. The laptop which I would recommend you buy is that is the, the I would recommend you buy a laptop with a higher random access memory, mostly from six G from eight GB and higher. The other thing I would recommend we buy the other thing you should consider and the, the, the other thing you should consider by is a laptop with a higher random land read only memory AG ROM. This is where you store all your all your movies, pictures, you, all your videos and everything that you are working on on your laptop is stored in ROM. So I would recommend you buy a laptop with a one terabyte, one terabyte, one terabyte ROM. Before you fill that one terabyte ROM, it will take you almost one year to fill. Uh, it's a big space. So the other thing you should consider buying is consider the operating system of a laptop. As, uh -huh. Mostly, I would recommend Windows. Why? I would recommend Windows because most applications you will get or most softwares, you can use them for free in Windows. But if you have money, I think Mac OS is the most beautiful and most de designer conscious. The colors are beautiful and I wish I could have one. The next thing is the graphic card. If you are you are buying a laptop to be used in design video editing and it involves a lot of graphics maybe playing games i would recommend you buy a laptop with a graphic card mostly they are nvidia and among many many others but i come to the last point the last point is a laptop with a battery life of maybe five to four hours is a good laptop and also when you are using your battery while charging and it gets full you should always remove it because mostly the the, cha the prolonged charging when it's full it also damages the battery so with that i see you in another video peace video peace so if you liked that video, you should consider subscribing. In this channel, we deal with business, technology, and vlog, and sometimes lifestyle stuff like cooking. So if you are new here, I'm Felix, and subscribe and leave a like if you learned something today.